The polka dot door, the polka dot door. Let's peep through the polka dot door. Songs and stories and so much more. Through the polka dot door, this is the time we always say. Get ready, get set for imagination day. We'll tell some tales, we'll pretend and play. So come in the polka dot way. Take a good look, Johnny. All right, I think I'm ready. Oh, hi. Salut. Hello, bonjour. We're playing a game called Who Lives at the Pond. We're going to take these cards out of the picture and then try to remember where they go. Why don't you play with us? Look at the animals. There's one, two, three, four of them to remember. I think I'm ready. Each card has a number on it that's the same as one of these numbers. When the two numbers match up, we'll know we have the right card. Okay, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Here's my first one. But be careful, there are some trick cards too. It's a great blue heron. Now what number tells us where it lives at the pond? Can you guess? I think it's number one. Let's see if you're right. Right. If you remember that, good for you. The great blue heron is a bird that likes to wade in shallow waters, it likes to dart its long bill into the water looking for food. Here's our next animal. What number tells us where this animal lives at the pond? Did I fool you? A penguin doesn't live at the pond. A penguin lives at the Antarctic, where there's lots of ice and snow. How about this turtle? What number tells us where it lives at the pond? Have you guessed? I think it's number two. Very good. And the pond is a good place for this turtle to find all the insects and the plants that it likes to eat. Here's our next animal, a beaver. Now what number tells us where the beaver lives at the pond? Have you guessed yet? I think I know. I'm going to say it's number four. Let's see. Right, it is number four. And the beaver goes right here next to its lodge, which is made of sticks and branches. Here's my last one. Where does the monkey live at the pond? He doesn't, does he? It's another trick card. The monkey lives in the jungle, where it's nice and warm. Here's my last card. A fish. What number tells us where the fish lives? Right. A fish must live at number three. So it goes right here. Here it can swim about and find all the plants and insects it likes to eat. But it better watch out for this fisherman. How did you do on our game? If you remembered where all four animals live, good for you. You've got a good memory. Hello, Storytime Mouse. I see you're all ready to go fishing. Well, you'll always remember to wear your life jacket around the water, won't you? Have fun fishing, Mouse. Let's tell the time together. The long minute hand has moved three quarters of the way around the clock and is pointing to the nine. So it's quarter to something. The short hour hand is pointing almost to the one. So story time today is a quarter to one. What would you do if you went fishing and you caught a magic fish. Would you keep it as a pet? Or maybe you would go on TV with it. <laughs> well, our story today is about a poor fisherman who catches a magic fish. Carrie is going to play the fisherman's wife, Clara, 
and I am going to play the fisherman whose name is Peter. The story is called The Magic Fish. <sighs> Where is that husband of mine? Late as usual. Clara, I'm home, dear. Peter, where have you been? I've been at the pond, my pumpkin. I saw a great blue heron, a turtle, and look. You caught a fish. Not just any fish. This is a magic fish. I've never seen a fish like this before. Well, it does look a little different. What's that? Could it be the wind? Clara, the fish. Clara, Peter, it is I. A talking fish? Clara, Peter, if you put me back into the water, I will grant you three wishes. Clara, just think what we could wish for. Oh, oh, quick, return the fish to the pond. Now, what shall I wish for? Well, money, of course, lots of it. And a big house with lots of servants to do the cleaning. <laughs> Clara, I have done as the fish has asked. We now have three wishes. Oh, this is so exciting. What shall we wish for first? Well, let me see. Money and a mansion. How about fine clothes? First, we should wish for a kangaroo. A kangaroo? Yes. I have always wanted an unusual pet. And who's going to feed this kangaroo and clean up after it and, and wash it? <laughs> Me, I suppose. Well, I thought that oh, since you, you want a kangaroo, kid, what... I wish you were a kangaroo. Mm. Peter, Peter, what are you doing? Shoo, 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 Peter! Whoa, whoa! Hey, shoo, Peter! Oh no, I made a wish. Oh, magic fish, I cancel my wish. Oh. Clara, how could you? Oh. You used up one of our wishes. Oh, forgive me. I couldn't help it. The thought of all that cleaning. Is that all you can think about, is that broom? Sometimes, Clara, I wish that broom would just up and fly away. Whoa! Whoa! Clara, Whoa! what are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I used, oh, I used a wish. Oh, no. Magic fish, I cancel my wish. Forgive me, my pumpkin. Of course I forgive you. But let's quickly make our last wish before we waste it, too. Let's wish for money and, and clothing and jewels. My pet, I think we should calm down first. Then we can wish wisely. Mmm, that sausage sure does smell good. Yes, let's eat dinner first, then wish. You want to eat a greasy sausage when we could wish for the finest food in all of the land? Mmm, but it smells so good. Oh, honestly, Peter, if you want it so badly, I wish it would stick to your nose. <coughs> oh, Peter! Get it off! Oh, Get it I made another wish! Get oh, magic fish, I cancel my wish! <sighs> Clara, how could you? Our last wish. All of them gone. Why, Why wouldn't, wouldn't you? you? Well, we may have wasted all of our wishes, but at least we have each other. And there is nothing more valuable than love and friendship. And that we have in abundance. Come on, let's eat supper. And that's the end of our story. Let's pretend that we're a magic fish, but we're tired of being a magic fish. So we make a wish to be a kangaroo. And we go hopping everywhere. And we're tired of being a kangaroo. So we make another magic wish to be a bird. 
and we go flying through the skies. Ooh, and we're tired of being a bird, so we make another magic wish to be ourselves. And we sit down. Ah. And relax. There you go, Dumpty. The toys wanted to make some wishes, too, for some things they could play with in the sandbox. Dumpty said that he'd like to have a boat. So I made him a lake steamer from an empty milk carton and a small cereal box that we had in our recycling bag. Ahoy, toys! Can I come aboard? Captain Dumpty says, aye, aye. You're just in time to sail the five great lakes. From Lake Superior we will start, across Lake Michigan looking smart. Past here on the Deary we will go, all the way to Lake Ontario. With a port and a starboard shivers and shakes, we'll sail across the five great lakes. With a port and a starboard shivers and shakes, We'll sail across the five great lakes. <laughs> and Bear, what sandbox toy do you wish for? Bear says he'd like a lake steamer just like Dumpty's. What's that, Dumpty? Dumpty says you can share his, Bear. Pardon, Bear? <laughs> Bear says thank you, Dumpty. And Marigold. What toy would you like to wish for? Marigold says she'd like to wish for a rocket ship. What's that, Humpty? Humpty says that's what he was wishing for, too. Well, maybe the two of you can share as well. Now, what do we have in our recycling bag that will make a rocket ship? Well, here's a start. Maybe you could make that into a nose cone for the end of the rocket. All right. Here's some tape. Thank you. Now. This will do for the main body. This is a cardboard tube that's been painted red. This should do it. Put that right in the sand. Now I think what we need is a rocket tail. Maybe I can just cut one out from this paper plate. Always remember if you want to cut something to ask a grown-up first. Now this should do just fine. There we go. Need a piece of tape on the back. This will be a fine rocket ship marigold. There it is. A rocket tail. Perfect. And here's your nose cone. That's All great. Right. There. A rocket. Are you ready to blast off astronauts Marigold and Humpty? Five, Five four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Our rocket ship can zoom so high, climbing way up in the sky. Circling around the moon and then We'll return to Earth again With a port and a starboard me, oh my We'll zoom across the starlit sky With a port and a starboard me, oh my We'll zoom across the starlit sky There we go, back down to Earth Astronauts Marigold and Humpty What's that, Humpty? All that space travel made you thirsty? <laughs> All right. I'll go get us some fruit juice in the kitchen. Great. See you later. Ogaroo! Did you hear something? Ogaroo! It sounded like the pokeroo. Ogaroo, pokeroo! It is the pokeroo. How'd you do? Ogaroo! How are you? Ogaroo! What do you say? Ogaroo! Pokeroo! Pokeroo, what are you wearing? Pokeroo? Pokeroo? 
You're pretending to be an astronaut. Oh, you want to play that you're going up in space. Pookaroo, pookaroo. No, you aren't pretending. You really want to be an astronaut. Pookaroo. Well, I don't think they're accepting pokeroos into the space program just yet. Pokeroo? Well, probably not for a few years, Pokeroo. Pokeroo? Pokeroo? Well, what is that? Pokeroo? A rocket pack? Well, Pokeroo, you are certainly determined to go up in space, aren't you? Pokeroo? Well, I'll tell you what. How about if you do your best, and we'll imagine that you're floating through the sky. Pokeroo! All right, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Imagine, imagine, you can imagine Pokeru flying in space. Imagine, imagine, you can imagine he's zooming all over the place. Right round the moon, then he circles the stars. Sailing past Jupiter, Saturn, and Mars. Imagine, imagine, you can imagine Pokaru flying in space. Pokaru! Well, you certainly had quite a trip, didn't you? Pokeroo! Well, too bad you couldn't have brought me a souvenir. Pokeroo! Pokeroo! Why, Pokeroo! What's this? Pokeroo, Pokeroo! Oh, Pokeroo, it's beautiful, but where did you get it? Pokeroo! Pokeroo, you weren't really up there in sp Pokeroo? Now where did he go? That Pokeroo always playing tricks. And I wonder where he got this star. Star? What star? This one. The Pokeroo gave it to me. Pokeroo was here? And I missed him again. He just left. Oh, and it's almost time for us to go too. Bye bye. Au revoir. A bientôt. See you soon. Now, what was he up to this time? You should have seen him. He was pretending to be an astronaut, and we were imagining that he was floating through the sky. Polkaroo? Mm -hmm. In space? And then he gave me the star. But the more I look at it, the more it looks like little pieces of cheese all taped together. <laughs> well, what was he doing? I mean, he couldn't, have, he couldn't have gone into space without a spaceship. No, but he had a space helmet, and on his back, he had a rocket pack. Rockets? Real rockets?